What's up YouTube? So I've been getting a lot of people asking me to do some benchmark tests on the 1080 versus the 980 versus the 980 Ti just to see how they all compare with each other. So as you all know, if you've been watching my channel recently, I've managed to get hold of a GTX 1080. It's going away soon, but I've managed to do the test that everyone's been begging for. We've got the GTX 980, my EBGA 4GB card. We've got my GTX 980 Ti, the 6GB card that's in my Air 51. And I've got the new GTX 1080 that I've got hold of recently. All three of these cards are going to be in the amplifier. We're going to run a 3D Mark. I've purchased the actual full 3D Mark as well, so we can actually even try 4K uh, scores as well because that wasn't available in the free version you have to buy the full version which I've managed to get it was on summer sale so decent discount thank you Steam uh, so we're going to run all three of them tests on Fire Strike see how they score a bit of comparisons between the three cards and then we'll do the 1080 in 4k as well just to see how it fares let's get started so this is the first uh, bench test that we're running Fire Strike on the GTX 980. Uh, it's my EVGA 4 gigabyte graphics card that we've seen in previous videos. I have gone ahead and purchased uh, 3D Mark. It was in the summer sale, but I thought it best to get that because it, I know you get the Fire Strike test for free, but you can't uh, test 4K, which is one of the things I wanted to run. Especially on the 1080, which is what we're looking to see how how effective and how good it is at running in 4K. So that is the reason why I've purchased the full 3D mark, so we can run the 4K test at the end, just as a, like an added extra. Because we'll run Fire Strike on all three cards, and then we'll do the extra 4K test on the on the 1080 and see how it fares out. If there's time, I may try it on the uh, the TI or the card, but I'm pretty sure from the other video we still have the the other tests. Um, I may try them on 4K actually just to see if they're, if they're even able to play, if not I can cancel it to see which one fares the best, if the 1080 is supposed to be the 4K gaming card we'll be able to find out. Uh, these tests are quite long so I will uh, snap in and snap out as we go through but I will give you a, uh, a video clip for each test so we know which which has scored what. Uh, there are four tests on these, uh, there's two graphics tests. Uh, combined test and the physics test, so it's basically two GPU tests, uh, a CPU and GPU, and then a CPU. The reason I've left the CPU on is so that we can get a bit of a, a gauge of the difference in performance between the two CPUs, as that, as that will have some effect on the uh, scores that we're seeing. But uh, I do also plan to put these onto the Aero 51 so we can see a good contrast between all three cards on both systems. Um, so, yeah, enjoy the. Enjoy the uh, 3D Mark Fire Strike tests, and I will snap in and snap out as we go on because these are quite long, and we're not going to want to watch them all four times, uh, three or four times. So. So this is the first graphics test, the longer one we've just seen is the demo which I may or may not run, I'm not too sure how it affects, the, if, it, if it does affect the full score at the end, so um, frames per second, solid 60s, hitting 70s as well which is good, be good, uh, a good, yeah so as I said it's going to be a good contrast between the three cards because obviously they've got a they're different in terms of the gigabyte size. I mean, this is four, the TI is six, and the 10 I believe is eight. So there's a big jump up in in size of the cards, and obviously in price. So this way we can see if the upgrade is worth it for what you're going to need it for, depending on what games and what resolution you're going to play at. So um, 50 odd frame, 40 frames is dipping, but still pretty consistent. So this is the physics test, which I believe is more CPU than it is anything else. Uh, frames are around about 20, 20. So this is the combined test. Graphics and CPU. Okay, so this is the end of the first test, which is the GTX uh, 980. As you can see down here, GTX 980. The graphics score was 13,241. 
Uh, graphics test score for the first was 64.84 FPS. Second test was 51.7 second. Physics, uh, 6,624 and 21.03 FPS. And the combined score was 3,971 with a combined score of 18.47 FPS. The monitoring here is basically the temperatures of the CPU and the GPU. GPU load obviously dropped in between the tests, which was in red. Um, I've got the CPU test, here we go. So I mean, basically started off CPU and GPU. A CPU started off at 70, GPU started off at 72. I've been using them quite a lot at the moment, to be fair. That's probably why they're that heat. They dropped down hmm, 60s. Stayed pretty much consistent. I mean, the, the CPU did did drop a little bit, but the GPU pretty much remained consistent for around about the 70 mark. And the CPU's frequency was solid the whole way through. So yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. I mean, just so we're clear, it's Fire Strike Custom Version V1.1. And the system, as you all know, it's an Intel uh, uh, Intel i Core 7 4710HQ. And the date and time, everything when it was done. But other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it. I will now swap out the card and put in the GTX 980 Ti. And we will run that test and see what we get. So we are now starting the second test which is on the GTX 980 Ti card, the one, this is a reference card that came with my Area 51 so it's basically supplied by Dell to standard reference 6 gigabyte card and already the frames are well, they appear to be high, hitting 60s I guess the overall score will tell I think we're between 30 and 50s and 60s, well, 70s here as well, so it's definitely an increase. Once again, I will come in and out of the uh, of the testing, as it's quite long, and I don't want to bore you all with it. I think we're hitting at some point in a similar section before but we'll be able to clarify that when we cobble it all together. So this is the first graphics test on the 980 Ti. Hitting highs of 90 frames a second so that's definitely an increase on before. I guess the real test will be to see what the jump is from one rig to another. Graphics test number two on the 980 Ti. I don't think I'll bother showing you the uh, the physics test because it's going to be the same across the board. Here is the fourth and final part: the combined physics test and GPU test. The physics test was the same. As I was saying, the physics test is the same across the board. The frames are pretty much exactly the same. So we have the results in from the GTX 980 Ti card. Slight improvement from 13,000 to 15.6. Uh, graphics test number one, 78.28 frames per second. Graphics test number two is 59.84 frames per second. Physics pretty much the same, 21, 22 and 69.09. Combined score 4138 and combined is 19.25. So it does appear that the CPU is, is holding it back, but obviously that will be confirmed later on. Uh, did notice here that the GPU's temperature did manage to drop in between the tests. I don't know if it's just because, hmm, I'm not too sure what that is. It's a reference card, if anything, I thought it would heat up a bit more. Maybe it's not being used to its full potential, hence the CPU issue is why it's able to cool down a bit quicker in between tests. I mean, it's, it's dropping 
Well, that was dropping from 83 degrees down to 71, so it's dropping 11 degrees in, in a few seconds that it's kind of got the test on. Uh, CPU is pretty much the same again, it just kind of leveled off around the 60s and high 60s to low 60s. GP load drops obviously and tremendously drops there because it's doing the physics tests. Um, obviously, yep, yeah, same same version number and everything, just to clarify, this is all the same. I will now have a look at dropping the GTX 1080 into the amplifier and we'll do the third and final test. So here we have the demo for the final test on the GTX 1080 and we shall see how it performs. I'm going to, as before, cut out the other bits so we can just see the, the tests that actually count, which are the graphics test and the combined test. Okay, so this is graphics test number one on the GTX 1080. Um, once again, the frames are even higher as we'd expect, hitting the hundreds. I think before we're hitting around the 70s, so there is probably a 30% increase between the 980 and the 1080. And hopefully this is reflected when we get the full final results. Okay, so this is the result for the GTX 1080. Graphic score of 19,508, so it's, well, practically 14, well, 4,000 increase on the TI card, so there's a nice jump in there. Uh, in the score there. Graphics test 1 was 95.99 FPS, graphics test 2 was 75.98, physics score 21.62 FPS and 6810, combined score 4179 and combined test FPS of 19.44. As you can see here, GTX 10 age to verify that, the same version of uh, fire strokes when used. Uh, CPU temperature pretty much the same again it dropped a bit after the physics test and went up during it obviously because that's stressing the, the CPU itself uh, the GPU temperature where is it there we go um, yeah it drops between appears to drop a little bit between the tests so maybe that's another sign that it's not being fully utilized but pretty consistent and the GPU load obviously dropped in between the sets and completely disappeared for the CPU stress test. So what we're going to do now, we've got a comparable between the three. I'm literally going to run a 4K test quickly on the GTX 1080 and see how it fares so we can get an idea of its 4K capabilities. Okay, so this is the graphics test number one in 4K, but we're back onto the original Fire Strike benchmark that we were running all the other ones in on 1080p but now we're on to 4k it's sitting round about the 30 to 40 frames per second which is playable I mean when we did when we played Doom we were getting 30 to 40 frames a second on top settings so that is what we would expect considering Doom was giving us the same sort of frames graphics test number 2 now always slightly lower as we've seen consistently but still hitting around the 30 frames 25 to 30 frames a second so still playable be interesting to see now what the the final result will be combined test on the 4k on the GTX 1080 uh, when we're hitting ultra we were dropping down to 7 or 8 FPS but we're we haven't drop below 15 16 at the moment so okay there we have it the fire strike standard test that we're running on all the other the other two GPUs on 1080 uh, has come back with 6441 obviously it's a lower score but the the frames per second are between 25 and 30 kind of I was expecting slightly higher considering the games I've played so far in 4k I'm, I'm generally averaging between 30 and, and 45 FPS uh, in 4k depending on what the graphic settings are on the game I'm playing on so about as pretty close as I was expecting the physics score is, is the same and the combined is 3545 and as as before the GPU fluctuates and drops in between in between uh, in between the tests 
and the CPU goes up for its physics test and remains pretty constant throughout. Okay, so that is the end of the fire strike tests. I may come back and do another video where we combine all of the graphics cards in 4K, but considering how the 1080 has fared, I don't think the predecessors are going to are going to be anywhere near playable on 4K purely just because of the difference in the in the score between the the 980 Ti and the 1080. I mean there was 4000 points between the two and the, and the 1080 is just about scraped through on on 4K. So I think we'll leave it there and uh Hopefully we should get some nice uh, nice tests when we put these cards into the Aero 51. See you guys soon. This is the second graphics test running in 4K. Frames are dipping to just below 20. The previous one we just did, the first graphics test, it was slightly higher with us being consistent throughout all of the tests. I'm going to skip this and we'll jump back in on the combined. As I was saying, this is Fire Strike Ultra, so this is everything maxed out and on 4K. So yeah, we've got a score of 4812, 4812. Graphics test was 26.53 of the first one, 17.27 on the second one. So it's quite clear this has struggled pretty badly when it comes to Ultra. What I will do now is a quick, uh, a quick test without the demo um, on the benchmark slightly the one we're running before that we did all the 1080s on but I'll set it to 4k resolution and just see how it's how it runs in there I'd imagine we'll get something that's going to be possibly double this it's just I, I imagine it's the difference between running everything on ultra and running everything on high or or medium sort of graphics so um, GPU temperature dipped again which kind of shows it wasn't well it's dropped the temperature drop is quite quite a lot, it's dropped 19 degrees, it's a big drop, still running the 1080 as you can see, but we'll now we'll try the 4K on the other bench test that we were running for the other tests. <laughs> 